React OS, the open source Windows alternative, has recently become self-hosting, which means you can build React OS from its own source code in React OS. This is a major step in the development for any operating system, because it means the OS is mature enough for complex actions such as serious software development. With the most recent version of React OS, creating a Hello World program is just as easy as it would be on Windows. In this video, I will be installing a C compiler and an IDE called CodeBlocks in order to create a Hello World program. If you don't have React OS installed, you can easily do so with a virtual machine, which I showed how to do in my previous video, which will be linked in the description. First off, let's download our C compiler, MinGWW64, which is not to be confused with MinGW, also known as MinGW32, which is an outdated version that's not even fully compliant with the C99 standard and can cause many portability issues. Go to the MinGWW64 downloads page, which will be linked in the description for convenience. I recommend downloading the MinGWW64 builds toolchain, which is built to install on a Windows system. I've had no problems installing it and it was very quick compared to other tool chains. I'm using Firefox 28 to download this. You can easily install it via the Applications Manager shortcut on the desktop of your React OS installation, but any modern browser that can run on React OS should work fine. Once you've downloaded the installer, run it and click through it by clicking Next until the setup is complete. It may take a few minutes to install, but it shouldn't take too long. Next we have to install our IDE, CodeBlocks, the download link to which will be in the description. You can download the installer for the Windows binary by clicking on the first SourceForge link, which will download the latest setup executable. Once it's finished downloading, run the installer and advance through it by clicking Next until the setup is complete. Once again, it may take a few minutes to install. Now we can launch CodeBlocks and configure it to run our compiler. You might get a warning at first that says a compiler could not be found. Just click OK. If you want, you can set CodeBlocks as the default application for C and C++ source files. Next, in the top right corner, go to Settings, and then Compiler. You have to set up the new compiler, which can be done by copying the default setup and modifying it. Press Copy, and then pick a name for the compiler, like MinGWW64GCC. At this point, the user interface can get pretty buggy, so if you can't see the buttons you need to press, try hovering your mouse over the area where they should be in order to make them appear. Try to find the Set as Default button, which will configure all of your future projects to use our new compiler setup. Next, try to locate the Toolchain Executables tab, and then click on it. Now we have to set the compiler's installation directory and its program files. If you installed MinGWW64 in the default location, you should be able to set the installation directory to C slash program files slash MinGWW64 slash i686 post 6 dwarf slash MinGW32. Now select the corresponding executables below as follows. i686 W64 MinGW32 gcc.exe for the C compiler, i686w64 mingw32 g++.exe for the C++ compiler and the linker for dynamic libraries, and finally, i686w64 mingw32 gcc.ar.exe for the static linker. Click OK. Now we have to set up the debugger so our programming setup is actually usable. Click on Settings, then Debugger, and then click Create Config. Enter a name such as GDB MinGWW64. For the executable path, select GDB.exe, and then click OK. Now we have to configure our compiler setup to use our debug configuration. Open up Settings, then Compiler, and then the Toolchain Executables tab. Under Debugger, select the debug configuration that you just created, which I named GDB MinGWW64. Click OK, and now our setup is complete. Now it's time to create our Hello World program to make sure everything is working. Click File, then New, then Project. 
pick console application, then next, and then set your project title and folder. I will set the title to Hello World, and for the project folder, I suggest creating a new folder on your desktop called Code Blocks to store all of your future projects. Click Next. The compiler should be set to the compiler configuration we created earlier, which I named MinGWW64 GNU GCC Compiler. If not, select the correct configuration. Click Finish. Now that we have created our Hello World program, click on the yellow gear icon with the green play button on top of it, which should be located near the center of the menu at the top of the window. This will build and run our Hello World program. And if you set everything up correctly, a command prompt window should appear with a Hello World message. Otherwise, try to retrace your steps and make sure all of the configuration settings are correct. I plan on developing a game in either C or C++ using this setup in React OS, mainly to show the maturity of the operating system. If you plan on making any large projects, I suggest backing up your files regularly in case your React OS installation breaks, which is unlikely to happen if you stick to development and code blocks and don't do anything crazy. React OS has become significantly more stable and may soon act as a viable replacement for Windows.